I'm on a highway to hell. Do, 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 do. Highway to hell. All right, what's going on guys? So today we've got a uh, custom e-bike build. It's a little unorthodox of a build, um, but I'm gonna go over this bike, tell you what we did to it, in case you have a bike like this or you wanna convert this bike. Uh, I'll kind of go over this and tell you what we did and what you might want to do. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout, professional e-bike builder, mechanic, repairer, uh, reseller, all that stuff. I'm pointing behind me because that's where that's where all the stuff happens. That's where all the magic happens. So if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos. Go to johnnynerdout.com for all your help, components, all that stuff. Okay, let's get right into it. This is the Schwinn OCC chopper, Orange County choppers. So it, was, it would just be OCC. It wouldn't be Orange County Choppers Choppers. Unless you have a stutter. It's nothing to, nothing to joke about. A uh, little overview, this was, a, this was a cool guy who brought this in. He's buying it for like a birthday present for himself. He's like, saw this bike, this bike looked really cool. Brought it to me. So we did a, a bunch of modifications to it to fit him a little bit better. First of all, when he brought it to me, it had unusual handlebars. They were not stock handlebars. So we had to put on some new handlebars. These have got some chopper handlebars to it. And the seat was a little bit close. It came with the stock seat post. So I went to pedalchoppers.com and they carry replacement parts for this, accessories and everything for this bike specifically. So if you have this bike and you want to get adapters, things like that, check out pedalchoppers, I believe, .com. Um, and I got the seat post extension cable, so it brings it back a little bit further. So his legs are going to be a little bit, you not, you know, right up in front of it. So this is a nice one. Uh, we upgraded the seat. So the old seat was like that banana seat, which looked cool. However, it just wasn't very comfortable. So we put the uh, Planet Bike extra large saddlebag comfort seat on there. So it's got springs in it. It's nice and comfortable. So one thing about this bike, there was no front brake to this. Um, and there was, this one didn't come with a front kit. There's no front brake kit available. So again, pedal choppers, thanks again. Uh, they have a, a front wheel kit with the Sturmy Archer front drum brake built in. And it actually works pretty well. Uh, this, we went with the bigger, there's two different versions. I think there's one, one that's 170 and one that's 190. We went with the bigger one, more surface area, better braking. We also went with the full deluxe light kit. I love this light kit, especially for the Bafang motors and the CYC motors. I have the adapter that'll fit either one. So if you have a Bafang or a CYC, this light kit will work with it. It has a control unit up here for the lights, the horn, and the turn signal. And the brake light is automatically activated when you squeeze the brake, which is really nice. Super helpful, makes it a little bit more street legal, just adds safety. Um, it has turn signals built into the brake light, so it's not, it doesn't look hokey. I think this is a nice, clean looking light kit that offers tons of functionality at a, at a pretty, pretty good price, well under a hundred bucks. So yeah, so we upgraded the uh, the front rim. We added, we put new tires on it, front and rear. We went with the 500C color display. We originally wanted to go with the P850C, but it wouldn't fit right here with this stem. So we had to go with a little bit smaller one. Obviously this triangle down here is pretty unusual, so we couldn't put a, a big battery necessarily in here, unless you went with an odd shaped one. So we went with the wedge battery. The wedge battery is great for fitting into tight spots. You know, we talked about if he wants more range, we'll probably just add a second second one to this. You know, we could even put one here. We could put something there, but I think this keeps it looking clean. We went with the BBS HD motor. This one is gonna put out the torque. Because we're running a single speed on this, it's got the, a regular cog on the back here. I believe it's a 22 tooth. We went with a 40 tooth up front to kind of keep that gear ratio pretty good. It's, it's good at acceleration. Um, it'll be decent at climbing hills um, and still be able to hit about 25 miles an hour when you're in your highest pedal assist level and you're hitting throttle. Now, obviously you won't be able to pedal along at 25 miles an hour, but you'll hit, be able to hit throttle and still hit 25. You could change this to a bigger front sprocket or change the rear to change that gear ratio. So you'll, you'll either have better hill climbing or more top speed. But I think going with a 40 and the stock, I think it's a 22 is a good mix because these are small tires, the 24 inch back here, it shrinks the gear ratio even more. So if, you know, a two to one, but because this is a small tire, if this was a big tire, you'd wanna go probably even smaller. I'd go 36, maybe even go Lecky 28, something like that. But the good thing about this is you could always change it. You're not married to one solution. You just put a bigger sprocket on or a smaller sprocket and resize your chain, 
you're good to go. We replaced the brake pads back here. They were old. This was a barn find. So everything on this bike was very, I would say, rusted and in rough shape. So we put new brake shoes on it, new tires, front and rear. The customer here says, you know, possibly version two is we're going to take all this stuff off, repaint it, sandblast it, and get it showroom condition. He wants to be able to take this thing to like, to like motorcycle shows and things like that, which you totally could. Probably not as it currently is, but it's still a super fun, comfortable bike as it currently is. And I'll show you how it, how it looks like when you're sitting on it. So it's, it's pretty comfortable. I'm not going to do a performance test on this just because I, I feel like top speed is about 24, 25 miles per hour. It's not nothing super exciting to see. Um, and hill climbing, probably, I don't think it would make it up the, the Widowmaker hill like this, but this will make it up almost any hill. I mean, this will blow any hub motor out of the water, which I know a lot of people are like, why not just go with a hub motor if you're doing single speed? It's because if you go with a hub motor, you're stuck in one gear ratio. You cannot change it. Unless you're going to take apart the entire motor and change the windings on the motor, you're not going to do that. It's not worth your time. This, you just swap out a chain ring or the rear cog, boom. Yeah, and if you're thinking about doing a bike like this, you know, we were able to reuse the chain ring. I had to put some, some spacers in there, some washers to bump, the, bump it out a little bit. But uh, yeah, totally doable. All right, feel free to reach out to johnnynerdout.com, book a consultation if you have questions about something super in-depth with your build. And uh, yeah, just appreciate you guys, thanks. Excuse me, there's a gridlock on the highway to hell. Rush hour <laughs> to the highway to hell, oh my gosh. Oh my goal.